all right so what is going on today youtube back with the best deck of all time you guys know what it is and you just stop just stop all right i don't want to hear nothing i don't want to hear no this is garbage whatever bro we got the best deck of all time now what do you do reveal the line should we banish any number of jamas on the uh, field or graveyard okay okay all right so what we need the top deck is um okay so you're just not even gonna use dante's effect i guess i guess all right i ain't tripping um all right um all right so there's two now what i could technically do is i can definitely dragon train first um to get the ragnarok out and then what I can do is I can easily special summon this Ragnarok. Ragnarok can go ahead and get me. I mean, not. Why do I keep calling him Ragnarok? What? What? Where am I even getting that from? Dark Worm. That's the name. So if you use something on a Dark Worm, hey, you know what? I'm not even tripping. That's completely up to you. That's. Com oh, okay. Well, that's fine. These are just. These are cards that just literally bait out that. All right. So what I can do is use Odramification to get an A and a C, B out. Right, and then I could go into a. Let me see here. Um, I can go. I don't play no rank fours. This is two pendulums, right? Two little dark level four pendulums. What do you do? Um, that's a tuner and non pendulum. Um, I actually don't play anything that's that good. Actually, I know what I can do. To be honest with you guys um hmm because then i could normal summon one of those and then just go skull deep that's what i can do but then he's going to use what's the name it's okay we're gonna have to roll with this we're gonna have to roll with this we're gonna banish these two we're gonna bring out an a and a b because that oh you have an ash i was about to cry and we're gonna bring out an a and a b oh this hurts because now I can't do what I was just thinking about. So here, this should bait out the Beatrice. To be 1,000 with you guys, it should bait out the Beatrice. I don't know if he's going to use Beatrice, but it should bait out the Beatrice. Because then I can go Binary Sorceress. And then I can, um, yeah, there we go. There's the Beatrice. All right, so this is 100% fine. Bait not the Beatrice. I'm pretty sure he's going to Farfa and banish the B. If I'm not mistaken. He should Farfa banish the B. Um, yeah. Farfa's gonna banish B. If he banishes A, he's just terrible. He's just terrible at the game. Um, B should get banished. And he banishes that. Of all things, he banishes that. That makes no sense. Do I even play what's the name? And then he just sends Scar. What was the point of that? What was the point? Do I play Deco Talker? I sure do play Deco Talker. You didn't misclick. You're a liar. You're lying. I'm just you probably didn't misclick though. That was that was just very bad. Alright, so <laughs> what we can do is go binary sorceress. No, I don't want to use A. God damn it. It's fine. We can we could still I guess still I guess we can still get out of this. Um Normal summon C, then I can use use those to go into a D called Talker. Um, and then use, I guess, C to special summon B. Even though I wasn't supposed to be doing all this, this was not clearly what I was not trying to do. Um, but you guys understand what's happening here. And I only play one Buster, so this is not going to be the greatest, I guess, the greatest use of my time. But, you know, we're going to still be able to do some nice things. All right, so there's a Seer. Just going to get him back a, I'm guessing, he's going to bring back the Dante, which is smart. Um, and then Dante's going to add the Seer back to the hand, which is also fine, I guess. Not really tripping about that. Um, so I don't know if I want to attack over Dante or just leave it so I can banish it because he really, I mean, he's going to get a free Skarm effect. So with that being said, I don't know where Skarm really gets him, but you know, sometimes people do weird stuff. Uh, 
Hmm. I could uh, technically attack over and do some damage. I think that's where I'm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for damage because um, I, I'm just not in a great position. Possibly should be playing two of these at least. Um, I can definitely probably take out the like the two star, the, the rank two to put another Dragon Buster back in, just you know for next turn to where I'm able to you know just basically, um, basically able to I guess you can say just you know have basically another way to go into um what's the name uh, dark worm can come back over here that's all fine and dandy and he's gonna search a tour guide most likely that's completely fine because the minute he brings out uh whatever he wants with it you know what i've seen somebody do somebody scarmed for a fucking fiendish rhino and i was like what i was like yeah you can't do that no i think they I don't know if you can. I'm pretty sure you can tour guide. I think tour guide just says level three fiend. Um, but yeah, somebody scarred for a fiendish rhino, rhino, uh, rhino warrior. I've seen that. I think I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah. And so now this is where the game is completely over, is because he made the mistake of normal summon. Actually, it's not over. It's not. I don't even think he can do anything. To be honest with you, folks, I don't even think that I'm going to respawn. Really. Oh wait. All right. So. Let me see here. They didn't, they didn't let me respond. I was holding A. I'm holding A. Um, what are you going to go into? Uh, if you go into a Dante, I'm not even going to... Yeah, I'm not responding to that. You can have that. I don't care about a Dante. None of this does anything to me. You can't far from me. Oh, you can't technically far from me. But, um... I don't, I don't, don't know what he's going for here. F0, can it be targeted? I don't know if F0 could be targeted, so I'm going to be in a lot of trouble if he goes into an F0. Um, does this banish any card on the field? Oh, he's going he's old. Okay, well, hey, go ahead and do, do your thing, bro. Do your thing. I, I literally don't know what you're going for, but do your thing, man. Do your thing. I'm not even tripping. I am not even tripping. Do your thing. You literally can't. I'm not going to buster anything that's not a BA on your field. Like, once you see me not buster that, uh, what's the name? When I didn't buster your, uh, what do you call it? When I didn't buster your Dante, I should have told you I'm not bustering anything else. Like, you're going to sit here and lose because you're doing just, you're just not, you're not doing any type of good, like, okay, you can't do anything. I, I just don't understand what he's going for. I mean, he can go far for his own Isolde, which I'm pretty sure he's going to try to do. Because I'm pretty, I, I mean, the, the way he's playing, I feel like he's going to target my Buster. And I think I'm just going to negate it with Deco Talker. Um, yeah, I might as well. I might as well negate it. I, I don't really need to. I'm just going to. Because there's, like, literally no reason not to, I guess. Um... But yeah, this was... I, I didn't understand what he was going for. I don't know what warriors you're playing in here. Um, I'm, I'm just going to guess that you're not really playing any type of warriors besides VLS. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not playing Armageddon Knight. And if you can fit four... If you have all these cards and you're still able to fit a little small warrior engine in, then all right, go ahead. I mean, granted that it's only been BA cards so far, so I don't, I don't know why you're doing that. That doesn't make sense. What you, I, I just don't understand what he's doing now. And I feel like he's just throwing the game because he realizes that he can't do anything. He definitely should have just attacked me. And that would have been the end of that. Um, but, I, you know, I just, you know, some people just really think that they can just beat you. But you can't beat, you can't beat the best deck of all time. Um, yes, in phase, I'm going to, yeah, banish this. Like, there's no reason and i'm just gonna attack for a game i mean i i don't know what he thought he was doing this is the best deck of all time so you know you guys are gonna just you know just gonna have to get used to just the bustiness the bustiness of that man all right so that's been that the 10 minutes we, we, we're good be right back all right folks so definitely i'm um, gonna cut this and put in another dragon buster because maybe that might be a little better to at least have you know two if i need to go I, I, if i have to go to three there's just no way i'm supposed to be winning that game but yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the best deck of all time um we, we used everything we used some pendulums and we also used some uh 
we used some uh, uh ojamas and we also used you know um that's it pendulums and ojama that's pretty much why this is the best deck ever thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy it um thank you guys for watching uh wait whoa well, yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy the video i don't know why i repeated myself um yeah be back in a couple hours with another duel of the best deck of all time also if you guys want to help the channel out the links are in the description down below thank you very much and uh see you in a couple hours